Hi guys, it's me, Sharon, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a couple high-end DIYs plus a super simple yet yummy avocado toast recipe. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bells to all so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Now let's jump right in. In this DIY, I'm gonna make no sew pillows for the bench in my laundry room. I picked up these placemats from HomeSense and I love the way they look and it reminded me of a pillow that I saw at Pottery Barn. So, so I purchased these placemats because I knew that I could recreate those pillows that I saw at Pottery Barn for a lot less. And I picked up some buttons. I picked these buttons up from Hobby Lobby. I thought they were really pretty. And because I'm making two pillows, I'm going to be using two buttons per pillow. And I also picked up some fabric glue. You know, it's washable and it's permanent. So let's take these off. I do have a sewing machine and I enjoy sewing, but I wanted to do these as no sew. So I'm gonna do like that, the front and the back. I'm gonna have them overlap like this and then at the seams I'm gonna on the front I'll put the two I'll glue the two buttons I really wanted to make them square and this way they're 19 and a half so I, I guess I'll do 19 and a half by 19 and a half perfect 19 and a half by 19 and a half and I'll do the same on this one so now I'm gonna glue these two together here in the front and then I'll do the same on the other for the back. And I'm gonna put on some gloves or I will have glue all over my hands. Okay, that's one side down. And now I'm gonna sit this over to the side. This is the, the pillow that I currently have. This is the one side um, for, it's a fall themed on this side and this side is a solid gray, which matches the laundry room. I got this slip cover from Hobby Lobby. Um, so I was thinking I was just going to cover this for a spring summer look. I'm gonna leave the bottom open for my pillow insert. If it was something that got high traffic, I would pull out the sewing machine and make this a more permanent and durable pillow, but it is purely decorative and um, it doesn't get a lot of use, but you can see it. So I thought aesthetics were important. We paint the sky with the colors, colors. Yeah, no so one down. Now let's do one more before we actually stuff the pillows.
I'm gonna let them dry for a couple hours and then I'm gonna put the inserts in. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. In this DIY, I am going to recycle this lamp by adding the spackle to the lamp for a textured stone look. You guys have seen me do this before. I'll link a couple of those videos up above if you haven't seen them yet. But I'm going to take this technique just a little further by adding a little bit of cinnamon to the mix to give that textured look a little bit of color. I've gone ahead already and I taped off the mechanism where the light bulb goes because you don't want anything to get down in there because uh, the lamp does work and I'd like it to continue to work so I'm going to take this off so that nothing gets in there and then I took the cord because the bottom of this is open I put the cord in a sandwich bag and taped it up in there to get it out of the way I enjoy this as they say your best tools are your fingers it's super easy to do and I think you get a lot of bang for your buck with this technique and I think that's why I use it because it's fun and it's um, easy and you get a lot for a little. My kind of project. So if you're looking to change the texture on something um, as well as maybe change the color, I think this is a great idea. I would definitely recommend you giving this a try. You can use a paintbrush if you want a more smoother finish, but I guess I'm looking more for that stucco type finish. I, I enjoy that look. Now I'm gonna let this dry for a couple of hours. So the lamp is all dry. I let it dry overnight. And now I'm going to stipple on with a sea sponge, some chalk paint in Castle, and I'm going to do a little bit of cinnamon to give me just a little bit of a brown hint. So I'm going to do a little gray, a little uh, natural, and a little brown with the cinnamon. I'm going to take most of it back off and just touch it. I love it already. And I'm just hitting the high parts. It just makes that texture pop. And that's what I'm looking for. Hey guys, let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm gonna leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out. And make sure you follow. Okay guys, that's it. I put the warm gray in Castle, I put the cool gray in Yesteryear, and I added some cinnamon, and I love the way it turned out. Leave me a comment. Which DIY did you like best?
Thanks for tuning in guys, I hope you enjoyed my high-end DIYs and my super simple recipe for avocado toast. Which DIY did you like best? Leave me a comment and let me know. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to all so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. At the end of this video, you'll see two links. Click one to see more home decor and DIYs by Creative Glam. See you next time. Bye.